good night, good people of the internet. So um, I've been working on a filter for our admin page for a application that I've been developing to work. So this is a filter right here. It's uh, using uh, NGRX and um, some Angular observable magic uh, to create a filter. So um, I'm gonna link the gist with the code for the select and the um, page itself, the component and uh, the, the component setup. <coughs> Excuse me. So um, apps pretty pretty neat. It's a it's got driver scheduling kind of application. And um, you can create drivers and modify them, and so forth. So fun stuff, and uh, also vehicles. So Same thing with this. Um, so that's it basically. Um, it's a scheduling app and there's just so many components. So we're um, logged in as the uh, administrator right now. And um, I'm gonna log out. Log in as a regular user. And I'm gonna go to my inbox over here where I have all the trips that I have scheduled. I'm gonna make a request for two passengers and select date and time and a location. And destination and The reason is I'm submit my request. So the request gets submitted here. It's ordered in um, uh, send an order. So your first request gets to the top. You can see the details of the request. And you can delete a uh, request. It doesn't actually get deleted, it just flags it. So there's no. Okay. But so that's it. So um, the thing I want to show you guys is the in, in the admin section itself. And that is this um, little setup that I have here that I'm working on where you'll be able to click on a request and then um, work with it. So right now um all the requests in here are um, pending because the admin section is not finished yet so i haven't set that up where you could change the statuses and so forth but i implemented this nice little um search feature that's up here is out of automatic search filter where i can filter by um, the username so or and I can also add a date criteria to that. And I can select everything that's rejected, which is gonna be nothing right now, or pending, which is gonna be that. And as I clear it, it updates. And the uh, format is out here too. So how this works is um, there is a uh, admin component and uh, the ngxx state where there's a selector so this selector um that's in the guest is um is where all the magic stuff happens it basically takes in the search object and then it uh splits the search object among different filters so the first filter 
is to check for uh, the username. The second filter is for status, and the third filter is the date, which is by far the most complex part of it to get this uh, get this working. And then the last thing we do here is if um, none criteria match, then it just returns the um, object itself. So what happens there is none of the criteria are selected, none of the criteria match, it'll return everything. So that's what you get initially when the page loads. You get everything being returned. So it runs the initial filter on the on init. So in the admin component itself, in the on init, it's very simple. I am connecting to the form the admin form itself, which I have created over here, and I am listening for value changes. I am piping value changes into, um, I'm piping value changes, and then I am kind of chunking the chunking the input using the debunk time of 400 milliseconds, so um, the server doesn't get overwhelmed. The application doesn't get overwhelmed by all the things that the person is typing in it. Then I'm subscribing to that feed and I'm passing that farm data to my ngxx select. And the select basically runs every time um, some data gets chunked and then passes back the data from the select as an observable to the observable, to the request observable that is being observed by the, uh, the template front end. So that's what creates this pretty cool filter. So I thought, um, you know, I'm gonna roll and, um, you know, with video wise, uh, since my return to actually uh, posting videos and so forth. And I'm gonna use this as kind of like the motivation to keep churning out like a video a week. I'm gonna, you know, add different, um, different components and so forth. And as I'm adding different components to my various applications that I'm working on, I'm going to do videos on the little things that I find interesting, uh, not necessarily the overall application altogether, um, just little chunks of things that I find interesting.